You must have heard the saying, a jack of all trades is a master of none. Yes, we do know that the full saying proclaims jack is better than a master of one, but it's no longer true in today's times. It's no longer the age of the generalists. It's the era of the masters. If you're an architect or aspiring to be one, you might be wondering whether you should specialize in a certain type of project or client, or whether you should be a jack of all trades and design anything and everything. Well, let us tell you three reasons why being a specialist architect is the way to go. Being a specialist architect will make you stand out from the crowd. There are thousands of architects out there who can do anything from schools to hospitals to museums. But how many of them can do it really well? How many of them have a unique style and vision that sets them apart from the rest? How many of them have a loyal fan base that trusts them and loves their work? Not many. But if you specialize in something you're passionate about or interested in, you can develop your own niche and brand in the industry. You can become known as the go-to person for that type of project or client. You can attract more referrals and repeat business from satisfied customers who know what to expect from you. Secondly, specialist architects simply earn better. Why? Because you can charge a higher fees for your work than generalists who might have less experience or credentials in that field. You can also leverage your niche market and demand higher rates from clients who value your expertise and quality. For example, the average annual salary of BIM architects in the US is 20% more than a general architect. And that number in the UK can go up to 50%. While being a generalist means you do many things well, it is usually the specialists who are the pioneers. They are the ones who take their time and develop a niche which they master. Soon they are talking in conferences and panel discussions, debating over critical topics and developing the field further. Be it someone like Patrick Schumacher and his parametric designs or Daniel Liebeskind and his deconstructivism, specialists have always redefined the field. Of course, the path of a specialist architect is not a smooth one. You might face more competition from other specialists who offer similar services. You might have less flexibility and variety in your work than generalists who can take on different types of projects. You might even have more difficulty adapting to changing market trends or customer preferences than the generalists who can adjust their style or approach easily. But we think these challenges are worth overcoming if they mean having more benefits as a specialist architect. So how do you decide what to specialize in? Well, that's up to you. Some questions you might ask yourself are, what type of projects do you enjoy working on the most? What type of clients do you want to work with? What are your strengths and weaknesses as an architect? What are your career aspirations and ambitions? And what are the current and future opportunities and challenges in your field? Personally, we think being a specialist architect is awesome. Today, a lot of specializations are emerging in the field of BIM and computational design in the AEC industry. If you feel that's your calling and want to explore more, do check out One is 2X's BIM and computational design courses that upskill you with in-depth knowledge in these fields and also impart application-based tech-first skills. The course is linked in the description and it allows architects and engineers to build a specialization in this domain. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.